Hey guys, happy Seiko Saturday. Today's wrist check is my Seiko 6139-6005, also known as the True Pogue. And uh, there's a reason why I picked my Pogue today for a wrist check, and that's because we're going to be talking about one of Seiko's Japanese competitors, Citizen. So Citizen had some great 1970s vintage pieces, well, Back in the 70s, they weren't vintage. They were top of the line, and they had this awesome caliber called the uh, 8110 Alpha Movement. And today we have two watches on loan from one of my friends, Johnny. Keep buying these watches, Johnny. Uh, the first one is the Citizen Bullhead, and the other one we have is the Citizen Spider. Now these are the names that are given to these watches. We'll get into the reference numbers here shortly, but really cool watches. Both of them are sporting the 8110 Alpha calibers. Very cool vintage Citizen pieces. All right, so before we get into these two watches here, I wanted to give a quick history on uh, what Seiko and Citizen were doing back in the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, Seiko pretty much ruled the automatic chronograph market. They started off in 1969 with their 61 3X movements. Uh, that would include um, those the Pogue watches. Pogues were 6139s. And uh, soon after that, Seiko came out with a 701X caliber movement. And uh, that chronograph had a flyback feature. Both, both those uh, calibers functioned at 21,600 beats per hour. All right, so now let's move forward a couple more years to 1977 through 1988. That, those were the years that Citizen produced these watches. The 8110 Alpha movements, which we're looking at right here, had a 30 minute register and a 12 hour register. Now, here's the cool part about these watches. They have a 28,800 beats per hour. So a lot faster uh, beats than the uh, Seiko competitors uh, of the day. So, I mean, just look at those, uh, those second hands. I've got them going right now. I mean, they are, they are high beats, really cool uh, high beats per hour, 28,800. So really cool uh, calibers. These also have flyback functions. All right, so let's take a look at the bullhead here. The bullhead is a 38 millimeter wide case. It's a 29 millimeter uh, wide case diagonally. So it is a 41 millimeter lug to lug width. So from top to bottom here. And it's 13.3 millimeters thick. It's also uh, 18 millimeter lug width, so this is a, a hooded case. Also, the uh, spider's hooded case as well. The reference of this bullhead is 67 9356. It has 23 jewels. All right, so let's talk about the flyback feature. So the flyback feature allows you to reset the watch without stopping it and restarting it. So do you see that? Here's flyback. Boom. Goes right back to the 12 o'clock position and continues moving on. So that's the cool feature of this caliber. So the other way is a standard stop reset and start. This bullhead has a 
I don't know if you can see, but it's got a silver dial. It's not white, it's silver with the black subdials. I tell you what, those fluorescent orange hands just really set this watch off. It is really an eye catcher. Dig this watch. All right, so let's take a look at its cousin here. Uh, this is also uh, same caliber, uh, 8110 Alpha caliber. Uh, this one's called the Spider. And if you turn it sideways, you'll just take a look. It's got the same caliber. The registers are in the same place. The push buttons are in the same place. It's just been rotated 90 degrees from the bullhead. So again, I'll show you the flyback feature. There you go, flyback. All right, for the Spider, it is 37.8 millimeters wide. It is 43.7 millimeters lug to lug. 18 millimeter lug width. And this has a thickness of 13.8 millimeter thickness. That uh, crown right there is to rotate the inner bezel that we have on the spider. This is a reference 67-9119, has 23 joules, and again, the same caliber. These are really high tech uh, for the day and you can find these on eBay. I was just looking the other day around the $400 to $500 range. Uh, there are a couple listings on eBay from some folks in Japan. They really are proud of their watches. They're asking for closer to $800. So, um, but. They're out there and they're great watches if you want to get into some really cool vintage chronographs. Um, these rival the chronographs of Seiko for the day and I would argue that they rival the Swiss made chronographs of the day with the Valjus. All right, I just wanted to quick show you what these look like on a seven and a quarter inch wrist. Here's the bullhead. Again, the bullhead is a little bit wider than the spider. All right, and here's what the spider looks like on my wrist. Again, the spider is uh, just shy of 38 millimeters wide. All right, guys, that's the video for today. If you liked it, please give me a uh, thumbs up on that and please subscribe. We have 13 subscribers now to the channel and I swear none of them are my relatives. And hit the bell icon. Again, I wanna thank Johnny for letting me borrow his watches. Very cool watches. And uh, leave some comments below on um, if you're on the hunt for one of these, or if you have one and uh, you agree with me that these are some pretty sweet watches. Killer vintage chronograph flybacks. All right, guys, that's it. We'll talk to you later, bye.